Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back. We're going to take a look at your week ahead messages. Um, October 7th through the um, 13th, 2024. <laughs> Hope you guys had a great weekend. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. All right, Virgo. So let's see what your messages are for the week ahead. What to expect in all areas. Oh, we got a jumper. Oh, okay. Five of Pentacles. So, um, hmm. I feel like you better not spend too much this week, Virgo. Keep your, um, start, a, start maybe some savings. Yeah, you might, ex well, <laughs> I mean, who isn't feeling this energy? There might be a slight financial loss. I mean, if you have an investment um, of some sort, you know, there might be like some ups and downs with that this week. You also might catch cold or feel like you're getting sick this week. So um, take your vitamin C, Virgo. Get yourself like good to go. And you might have like some worry as well um, about, you might be worried about maybe over worrying um, or just having this mindset where um, things aren't going to work out. So be careful of that energy for this week, okay? Um, worrying really doesn't doesn't do anything. It just keeps you stuck. What else do you have, Virgo? Okay. You also have the High Priest. Wow. Hmm. There's something here. Uh, Spirit's telling me... Um, Oh, the high priest is actually the hierophant. I feel like your expectations are well established. I feel like I feel like what you what you're expecting and maybe your boundaries that you have or the things that you expect from yourself and other people are well established. I don't feel like you are asking too much. You know? you have some kind of need that needs to be met i feel like you're doing what you need to do and if anyone is giving you a hard time about that need or giving you like just some slack i feel like uh spirit's trying to tell you no but you're not out of whack about your about your the expectations of the things that you want to try to establish in your life or in your personal relationships um, if it's to do with a like a romantic relationship, expecting a commitment from someone, I feel like that is okay. I feel like you are allowed to be that way. You're allowed to feel that way. You're allowed to establish some type of a boundary with somebody in what you need and what you want. And, and to have someone respect that, okay? Because this feels to me like... How you're deciding to live your life. I also see, oh my gosh, this just popped right out to me. The American Lung Association. Um, somebody's quitting smoking. Which, I mean, fantastic. Good for you. Uh, either quitting smoking or is on the path this week or set a date or doing something to quit smoking. And there might be other people who um, are trying to offer you a cigarette as well. I know not everyone smoking or vaping, whatever it is. Uh, you're, you're. It looks like this week you're gonna you're gonna quit. Okay. Um, well, so congratulations if that's you, Virgo, or maybe you've quit. Maybe you're on your second week. Some of you maybe second month, or you're on your second year and you're celebrating twenty years. It could be whatever it is. It could have been maybe it's just two hours ago you just quit. So whatever it is, congratulations. I feel like there's a message there. Okay. And you also have the Knight of Wands here. Well, this is interesting. Uh, Virgo. <laughs> there's a freedom that you're going to experience this week. Okay. There's also um, this lust energy. So maybe your hormones are shifting or you're feeling rather excited about something this week this week coming up i see you being very this is sagittarius energy you also have taurus i see you being very passionate very very passionate like really like it's a physical thing like this physical activity i feel like you're you're gonna just be gun ho about like really going after 
movement. It's a lot of movement. This maybe you're gonna take up running. Like it's a it's a physical passion that I see you having or exploring or being active in this week. It's it's something, maybe you're gonna be riding horses or running or walking or whatever, dancing. You're doing something here. It's boosting your energy, boosting your metabolism. There's something here about feeling excited, feeling free. And it's like a lust-filled energy, you know? It could be um, in a physical, romantic relationship as well, where you could be feeling hot to trot for someone this week. And it's really kicking up. And you also have strength. Okay. So some of you, this is like totally like your, your, your fitness. For some of you, this is totally your fitness. Like you're real passionate about your fitness. Maybe doing some strength training or upping your weights or, you know, I, I'm really picking up that energy there. Some of you also I'm hearing, if your cat got out, your cat's coming back this week. <laughs> Interesting. Or if your cat um, does get out, I, I feel like your cat's going to return. <laughs> maybe your dog like an animal I'm hearing if somebody's lost their cat or their animal like they you know ran away they're I feel like they're coming back I know it's not gonna be for everybody but it just I'm just picking up like your, your pup or your kitty's coming back <laughs> and for some of you also <laughs> especially the the feminines oh your hormones your kitty gonna be raging this week your hormones are gonna be raging this week <laughs> I'm 12. I'm like a 12 year old. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's move on. We don't want to stick around too long. In that. <laughs> but you know, Virgo, I'm just seeing this kitty and this lust and I'm like, or somebody else is lusting after you kitty. Meow, meow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Leo energy for sure there. Oh, okay. Now you have the 10 of pentacles. So, um, yeah, as far as like your money goes, Virgo, I feel like by the end of the week, Everything's going to be fine, okay? Uh, there might be something going on with a bank. You know, like you log into your bank and it's like zero dollars or whatever your currency is. It's like there's a glitch. And I know there might be like still a glitch. I know there was a recent one, but there might still be a glitch or something happens. And then it gets fixed and it comes back. Um, I'm also seeing uh, some of you buy um, an older person's home. Maybe they pass away like an elder or you move into an elder's home or an elderly person's like either it's like you take it over, you inherit it this week as well, something like that, or, you, or it's connected to you in some way. Uh, there's a connection to real estate this week as well so you might even maybe you're on the end of like you're selling real estate or you're a broker or you work in um titles or finances and mortgages or something like that I, I feel like especially if there's a concern about money i feel like this week it's like the deal gets sealed okay there's um there's a closing that happens something gets closed on this week i love it these are just such crazy messages for this week uh, let's see what else is going on here. Okay. Oh, all right. Ace of Swords. So um, there's a conversation. Someone initiates a conversation with you this week and brings clarity and some truth. So you're going to hear from someone. Um, I also feel like you have like this light bulb moment that happens for like some kind of new idea. Uh, that comes up or how to solve some kind of conflict and you you have a conversation with someone this week in regards to that okay someone um i'm looking at this bird so this feels like it's not an i don't know if it's an eagle it could be you could live in an area that looks kind of like this where there's all this mountainous terrain hawks eagles um if you're that person like maybe the rocky mountains i'm hearing there's connection to the rocky mountains
I'm also seeing um, if you're in that area, like a pretty big, pretty big um, earthquake. I'm picking up. It's not devastating, but the the birds are gonna let you know. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. Like the animals, the birds will let you know. Um, and I feel like this is gonna be pretty deep of an earthquake. So I don't gonna. I don't get a sense that it's gonna be. Uh, rocking the surface too much but it's pretty damn deep and it's somewhere where there's these rocky mountains this week okay yeah so you're also like as i was saying in the beginning uh, oh, some of you also might be preparing for surgery this week as well or thinking about it you know about going forward with a surgery or a follow-up to some kind of surgery but also like i was saying again there is uh, some type of a new someone initiates communication with you this week and uh is wanting to work on fixing some kind of problem that you guys have been dealing with or some kind of obstacle how to overcome it all right now you also have the nine of wands virgo okay so hmm. you got your dukes up this week also in regards to any people places or things that are trying to get in you got some serious boundaries up protecting yourself protecting what's yours i just heard the name clara Yeah, Clara. Uh, some of you are um, doing going to do some martial arts training this week as well. Doing something with martial arts this week, or maybe like a bow staff. Doing something with a bow staff. I hope you don't get me hitting anybody <laughs> out of sport. Yeah, there's a strong energy of. Um, protection i feel protecting yourself you're ready to fight though you've got your dukes up you're you're ready to go if you need to go you're ready to go this week you're holding uh you're holding the the course when it comes to your boundaries you're not letting up on something okay what else do you have this week oh okay you got the hermit Rah. some of you are thinking about an aquarius a deep reflection about an Aquarius this week. Trying to get some kind of clarity in regards to an Aquarius. I'm also seeing a power outage this week. <clears throat> or power still being out. The use of um, flashlights or candles. And um, I'm also hearing um, they're they're giving me an impression of like um, meat thawing, like it like it feels like in a in a refrigerator due to a power outage. So I, I feel like they're trying to say um, you need to go get like a um, a cooler, fill it with ice, and something in regards to filling a cooler with ice and putting whatever you're going to use or whatever you're going to need to not open the fridge and spoil the food, all the other food, something along those lines. Because you can keep, you can keep putting ice. I'm hearing you can keep putting ice. There's plenty of ice or just freeze bags of ice. Keep them in a cooler. I don't know if it's like ahead of time or something like that. Somebody's also going camping this week. Okay. There's also a strange uh, illumination effect that's going to be connected to the moon that you might see at night. I have no idea what that means. Maybe you're going to see a UFO. <laughs> Something uh, around the moon. Okay. A lot of messages came out of that hermit card. Okay, 
somebody um, has autism. So you have the Eight of Pentacles. So um, I'm seeing uh, somebody's finishing up a book or writing a book. One of you, someone here is finishing up, polishing up a book. I'm also seeing you learning something this week. Putting the, uh, finishing up a thesis or um, a paper of some sort, which gets the same thing. Something that you've been working on or crafting. Um, you're also, I see someone doing some antiquing this weekend or hitting some thrift stores and uh, trying to find like a, a valuable piece. Or you find a valuable piece and it's kind of like you're doing a little research on this piece this week polishing it up trying to get some dates trying you know, looking something up trying to find out how much something is worth you might find it or you have something that you come across this week either in your home or something someone brings to you there's an energy here of working on some type of it's like a craftsmanship Or putting the finishing touches on something this week. Not much in the way of romance going on here, you guys. Like, I have to tell you, there are no cup cards thus far. <laughs> There's nothing here. So, I don't know what's going on with love. You must have other, more important things to do, Virgo. But, you know, we'll see. But thus far, it looks like, I mean, if the cup card shows up, it shows up. But nothing, these, these are all very practical things. We'll see. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so Eight of Cups, there you go. Virgo, I feel like this week you're not even thinking about love or emotions or anything like that. You're like uh, withdrawn from that. Some of you are moving on, you're abandoning some type of an emotional connection or retreating. Yeah. You're not even focused. You're like, no, let me just check and see what's going on with the moon this week and the stars. Maybe you're just too busy seeking UFOs. <laughs> but um, I don't know. You're walking away. You're not interested. There's also like, um, man, there's a lot of, you know, you guys, sometimes I always feel like weather and, and earth events really always come through for me um there's a, a big explosion volcano volcanic explosion around hawaii this week um or tonga they're saying tonga so that would be like the south east pacific i think or something like that or somewhere where hawaii is all the way down towards like uh, new zealand in that area Okay, but anyway, as far as like love goes, yeah, you don't seem to be, at least this week, you don't seem to be interested in it. You can take it or leave it. I feel like you got bigger fish to fry and other things that you have going on. Okay, wow, page of wands. Somebody's got a sunflower somewhere. Like either next to their name or somewhere uh, on their maybe on their body or a ring or accessories of some sort or just somewhere in the house. Connection to sunflowers. I'm also seeing maybe um, calling up some friends, going to do some hiking of some sort or walking somewhere this week. Look, I swear to God, you're so active. You got so much going on with for yourself this week. I feel like you're very busy. It just feels like you are very, very busy being very active. You got a new project. You have some kind of creative idea and you're telling people about it or you're, uh, you're just in a really good mood. It looks like, look at the face of this person. They're like walking somewhere, hiking, looking at people passing by like, Hey, <laughs> Hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> you just seem to be like communicating, being social, like, I don't know that you're getting out there and social like going to parties and stuff, but I feel like as you're wherever you're walking or whatever you're doing, like you're in a friendly 
kind of space here. Like you're being very friendly with people and enjoying. This is a little bit of like sponta spontaneity, right? And there is an energy of like, um, you get some clarity this week as well about what you need to do. And I feel like that's playing a role in um, putting your priorities, like you've got your priority, like, I don't know, Virgo. if your priority was like love or relationship, or you're involved with, um, too, too involved in a relationship, I feel like you're backing off something here, backing off. Okay, you do have a King of Cups. So maybe you're backing off from a King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, but they are going to be significant this week. You might not be backing off from them, but they are going to be significant this week. You also have a reunion coming up. So it could be with family um, or friends. Some type of an engagement party or... Um, celebratory event that you might be attending this week you could have a king of cups that's wanting to reunite with you as well or have some kind of reunion get together masculine or feminine energy uh, somebody wants to come home or is coming back you might also get invited to some kind of event by a water sign this week all right, let's see. All right, you also have the Queen of Swords. So could be an air sign in your life as well this week. Communicating with you. Wants to talk to you. Hmm. About future plans. Masculine or feminine. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, a water sign wanting to make plans with, with, about something. Working together on something. Maybe travel. Putting some effort in and having some kind of conversation about where we're going next or what we're doing next. And this this uh, this air sign, very direct, being very honest, also about what their future plans are or what they want. They want to talk to you. They may be reaching out to you and asking you for your feedback. Okay, that's interesting. Um, and I'm also hearing there might be a water sign who is getting married. Let's see. Maybe invite you to their wedding. Okay, so you've got the sun. So this is good. This is like, like I said, I feel like your your energy this week is like very happy. You feel you seem to be very happy and and joyous and have a very positive outlook on your life this week. Uh, feeling successful. And you do have a love offer coming in as well. I want to tell you that. So there's Leo energy here too. So someone's going to make a romantic proposal to you. And um, like, I mean, it could be as, like, as far as getting down on their knee and making the proposal, kneeling. Or um, it's just somebody tells you that they love you. Someone expresses their love to you. They're, they do. I, I don't feel like it's you because like I said, it doesn't feel to me like you even care about that this week. You know, I feel like, I don't know if it'll catch you by surprise. There's a, another water sign again. Queen of Cups. So, may, yeah, see, because I feel like this week you're just, you're all about you. You're doing you, your money, your physical self, taking care of the thing, like enjoying your life. Yeah, it doesn't seem to me like you've got that love thing on the brain. Um, there's someone here who has very deep feelings for you, though. Coming in to express in a very positive way. Um, romantic feelings for you. So it could be an air sign. It could be a water sign. Let's see. Is there anything else here Virgo needs to know? You guys, i got to cut this early. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you tomorrow with an hour-long reading. It's just that the fills... The Phillies are playing. I gotta go watch my. I gotta go watch my Phils. All right. So there is the ten of cups. <laughs> okay. Virgo, I'm hearing for you. It's all or nothing, right? If you can't have it, you don't want it. When it comes to love or a, some kind of love situation, like you're not. I feel like you're. 
you're focused on you and if somebody comes in and there's a possibility to go through the steps of a relationship turn going somewhere having like um players will tell you to enjoy the journey and don't worry about the destination right guys guy players no offense to the guys in here the ones who are just trying to take advantage of you right um they'll say why you got to worry about like how things are going to turn out like shut up no People who really want to have a life partner, they think about these future things. They don't just like, oh, we'll just see how it goes. We'll just enjoy the journey. Just have fun. Don't ever listen to anybody. Even like those life coaches and stuff or romance coaches that say, what turns men off is when a woman wants an end result and, you know, or vice versa. Not just, it's not, it's not just relegated to men and women. It's just relegated to people who are immature, right? You, you don't play that game. You, you. We date on purpose, now depending on your age, you know, but nobody wants to look back at their end of their life and be like in their 80s and be like, I've got nobody, you know, even if it doesn't involve getting married or it doesn't involve children and things, there's something nice about life partnership and having someone you can count on. I feel like that's your goal. Like if there's any goal here for you, that's what you want. And I do feel like you'll have that, but I feel like if you, you got to stick to your boundaries about that. And don't waste your time because trust me, I mean, just yesterday I was 32. Life goes so fast, right, you guys? So take your time. I feel like spirit's saying here, but don't waste your time. Use your time wisely. Yeah. Okay. You're coming end of some kind of struggle or a burden this week. Heavy workload. Like you've, you've carried it all, Virgo. And I feel like this week is like the final stage of some kind of heavy physical burden that you've been carrying or whatever kind of burden is that's taken a physical toll on you. That stress, the exhaustion, you know, <clears throat> whether you work like a very physical job or you just have a lot on your plate. Um, I feel like this week here is coming to an end of that. You've been, you've been carrying the weight uphill for quite some time and I feel like um, you're going to be relieved of that by the end of this week okay definitely so you're on the final it's a final stretch Virgo push through don't quit it's a final stretch all right look and you got the world what a beautiful way to end this reading I'm not going into the charms or anything like that right the game's on so you got the world here this is fan freaking tastic you complete some kind of goal or something. You finish something this week. You come. It comes to a completion. Whatever you're working on, you know, at the end of travel, maybe you're. It could have something to do with um, moving, finishing something up on the internet, or some kind of online thing. Maybe you're just finishing a game you've been playing. <clears throat> a series ends. You know, something something you've been working on, Virgo. Um, it could be a connection to Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. But whatever you've been working on, um, you finish You finish this week strong. Do you ever see that meme with the dog? He's like, um, he ate all his pizza and now he's going to finish strong with some ice cream. I feel like finish strong with some ice cream, Virgo. <laughs> Celebrate yourself, right? Um, because you, you really do well. You do really good here. Yeah, it, it's kind of like you take a look back. You take like one, I feel like by the end of the week, you kind of look back on the week and you're like, hey, I did all right. Hey, this was good. I accomplished the things I need to accomplish. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm just, all right. So, uh, Spirit said just give you a charm. Okay. So, like, don't be a, don't be cheap. Just give them a charm. And for those of you who are members of my channel, the uh, VIP membership for your uh, extended bonus content, I'm going to upload your next reading um, I'm going to try to make it on Tuesdays, so on the 8th, okay? Because I'm going to start turning it into a series. There will be extra bonus content, but the um, the readings that I'm uploading, if you haven't become a member yet, is called um, Their Current Feelings and Thoughts in you know About You. So I'm going to turn that into kind of like a series, okay, you guys? So just wanted to let you know. So it will be up on October 8th, so stay tuned. Anything else that comes up? A little extra for you. All right, let's see. And thanks to everyone who, who have been purchasing the um, Gumroad readings. Fantastic. All right. So they're giving you a tree here. Okay, somebody might have a connection to the Tree of Life. Maybe you're studying it or the Kabbalah. 
This is about growth, sustainability, Virgo. Um, you might have a favorite tree somewhere in your life that you um, spend time under. You're going to start seeing, um, for some of you, the leaves falling. Yes, the leaves will start falling this week as we enter into a new season. Of course, depending where you are in the world, some of you are going to have leaves blooming <laughs> or trees blooming. Um, but I feel like this is a, a more symbolic message for it's time for you to start sprouting leaves and start um, branching out is what I'm hearing. And put your roots down. And if you've put your roots down already, start branching out from there. Okay. Um, Spirit's saying the first step to success is building the foundation. And that has something to do with the roots. Okay. And look, there's the lovers. I love how this, okay, this is rounding off very nice, full circle. Um, I see definitely love in your future, Virgo. And I know it seems like this week you just couldn't give a rat's ass about love. But I feel like this week, um, as you process something, as you move forward in your, in your life, I feel like there's a love connection here uh, with someone that will be made. It could happen this week, but I feel like going forward... I will say this to end. There is someone who is genuinely, genuinely, unconditionally loves you on a, in a romantic sense, okay? I don't know who. It could be a Gemini, but I'm, I don't know who it is. It could be another Virgo. It could just be you self-loving, loving yourself unconditionally, right? By accepting yourself for who you are. But there's some kind of breakup that is coming back together. There's a divorce where two people reconcile, there's also meeting someone new after a divorce. I'm hearing no more regrets, no more bad choices, and the end of discord. All right, Virgo, um, I'm going to leave that reading there for you. I hope you enjoy that. Go Phils. I will see you guys. I know some of you might be Mets fans, and that's fine. Go, go Mets. I hope your team wins, but I hope my team wins harder <laughs> all right you guys i love you all see you back here i just Monday. can't Bye. let you go lord knows that i've tried to you said i was the only one no one likes being like to you made this mess and left me with the pieces now I wanna burn all the bridges between us mm -hmm.